Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. Hi Jack. So we're day two of Suggestions Week. So today we are doing hamburger hash for Gerald. We're going to do green beans with it and we're going to have biscuits. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to chop these and do not real big pieces, not little ones either, but you know what I mean, like bite size. And if you guys look, Jack's doing his own prep. <laughs> so cut in half and then half again and then quarters. Or thirds. Whatever's best for that potato. Jack's favorite part of cooking. He's being quiet because he hates cooking. Doing prep, don't you, Jack? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you getting more used to it? Uh -uh. <laughs> People like to watch you. And we're both using the rod of knives and use the back of the knife instead of the front. That's something somebody taught me how to do. And here, are a couple suggestions. There will be a link below for the rod of knives. Um, that's something I want to say. There's a lot of companies that we only, I only make money if, um, a lot of the stuff we get is just for free product. But RADA, actually, I am a representative of them, so if you buy from RADA, I do get, what did I tell you, 5%? I think 5%. I think that's what it is. So if you do buy from them, using my code below, um, I do make a percentage off of them. You're slowing down, Jack. Whoa, I just spilt some on the stove. Wasn't that smart of me? <laughs> this actually sounds like it's going to be a really, really easy meal. And that's always a good thing. I don't like really, um, I don't like real difficult ones that asks for a million different things. And there's a couple reasons for it. I don't want to be out in the kitchen a million years, but there's a lot of people that, A, don't have time to do a lot of prep. Or B, if it's that much work, they're not going to do the cooking. They'll just give it up and not do it. So, you know, you don't want to scare people away. If there's something I really, really like, you can bet I'm do going full out. <laughs> but most people, they're working. And, you know, even retired people. They want to spend their whole day in the kitchen. They want to enjoy life. So, I know I like some of those Betty Crocker ones from when I was a kid. But I remember my mom being out in the kitchen for like what seemed like to be hours to put some of that stuff together. And it'd take her all day just to get the ingredients around, you know. So, I try not to do that. Catching up to you, Jack. I often wonder if he does it on purpose to be slow, so no, that I, I have to you. help him. <laughs> Since you got cut with these, I'm, I'm, I gotta get used to them. I've gotten cut with every knife I've got. <laughs> Even the well, the one that I threw away, actually was one of my favorite ones. It was a ceramic knife, and that got me all the way down to the bone. <laughs> so, that wasn't such a great thing. <coughs> now, I'm going to pull these forward, and it says to use vegetable oil. I was going to use, um, you can just put them all in the, the sink. I was going to use bacon grease, but it specifically calls for vegetable oil, so that's what we're using. Are you with a knife? 
Yep, we're done with the knives. There's about three tablespoons of all. And while those are starting to cook, I'm doing the lazy man way today. Well, you make sure it spreads all the bottom, right? <laughs> so that one got me. <laughs> we have about three tablespoons full, it says. So, whatever you think three tablespoons is. So we're going to use just these cheap biscuits that you get at Walmart. And that's going to be our biscuits today. I'll try to put them all on one page, on one sheet here. And that one got me. Did you see me jump on that one? Yeah. My sister would have been still screaming. <laughs> that one got me too. <laughs> Lord. He hadn't gotten me in a while. I figured we'd just use one pan and do both of them. Some of these are really small and broke up. You know, they charge more for everything and the quality's worse and worse. You notice that? Yeah. Alright, those gotta go in the oven. So those we will bake while we are um, cooking this stuff on the top. So now we're gonna cook these until they are um, finger or fork tender and browned and we're um then we're gonna do something else so let me get everything else prepared for our, our green beans and then i'll be right back thought i'd bring you back just for a minute i've got some raw bacon here and i'm cutting them into little tiny pieces well they're not tiny but maybe quarter inch something like that and i'm going to divide these between me and jack and this, he didn't say what kind of green beans his mom made, but if we're going to make green beans, we're going to make them the good way. And believe it or not, we're out of that 20 pounds of bacon. <laughs> so, yeah. And I have to cook some more up, but it's not been on sale lately, so it'll have to go on sale. So, Jack's got to get his fry pan. And we'll be back as soon as we get this started. All right, so now in the second pan over here, we have green beans and we have the raw bacon. And I'm gonna put pepper on that. I'm not gonna add salt because there's salt in the um, bacon. And then I'm gonna put salt and pepper on our potatoes. Like my rule of thumb, always, always season your potatoes well. I used to love raw potatoes as a kid and I'd wait for my mom to let us have a piece when she was dicing them up and peeling them. This does also cause, call for peeled potatoes, but as you guys know, I don't peel my potatoes unless I have to. All the nutrients and good stuff is in those peelings. So I like to try to keep it that way so we get some kind of nutrients off all that starch. Those are looking pretty. They're looking really pretty. So these got to cook for a little bit longer and then we'll be back. Okie dokie, so now our potatoes, I'm going to turn my beans down just a little bit, are fork tender. So what we want to do is take them out of the pan and just set them off to the side. I'll give you this in just a minute, Jack, and you can use it. How's that? Right. <laughs> I can share once in a while. Don't ask too often. You thought you were going to get after me. <laughs> and it didn't go on the floor, did it? No. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put those off to the side. 
I want to show you something while Jack's getting his out. I am going to try to get more into the edible plants and stuff like that. And so this book, I think it was $8 or something. I don't remember what it was. But it's Edible Wild Plants for um, Beginners. And it actually has the pictures and stuff in there and tells you what you can do with it. And I think there's recipes in this one too. Yeah, there is. So I'm going to get this one and then I have another one coming that hopefully I can learn to cook with them and, you know, make medicines and stuff like that out of them. All right, so while Jack's doing that, I'll get to the next step and then he'll catch right up to me. We want to use... Um, one red bell pepper, but as you guys know, we already we pre-cut our own, so that one's got green in it too, and a cup of yellow onion, I'd say that's a cup. And we want to start getting that cooking. pan back on and get that cooking. Now it says to cook it down before you put your burger in there and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do mine just a little bit different and I'm going to put my burger in it now. Because I don't want a bunch of soggy vegetables and you know what I mean? I don't, I just think it tastes better when you fry it together. I'll give you that right now so you can dump that in there. And I got some yellow peppers out of my garden. And I'm going to do something with those tomorrow, actually. And then you need a cup of onions. And you need to move your skillet back that away. I'll take it in one second. There you go. Alright, so now this calls for two to three cloves of garlic. So you know me and garlic. We're just going to do... One nice heaping tablespoonful. And then we're going to give Jack a nice heaping tablespoonful. And it also calls for a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Now I'm going to use our little musher here to kind of break that down. You don't want great big huge pieces in there. And we're going to get this fried up a little bit. Garlic, beautiful garlic mixed in with that. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get this started to um, dry up pretty good, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we have that all cooked up. Now you're going to add your potatoes back in. And then it says to put cheese right over top of it. That's something else I'm not going to do right away either. I want to, what do they call it, marry the, the flavors together before I go put it in the oven. We did drain the extra grease. I showed Jack the trick with the paper towels. It works good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Learn something new every day, huh? Yep. Yeah. Can you play this again? 
No. All right, so I'm just going to cook those for a minute or two, let the flavors kind of join together, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we let it cook for another couple minutes. Let me show you what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? And there's Jack's over there. So now we're going to add cheese to the top. I think it said like a cup of cheese or something, I think. This looks delicious. Delicious. All right, and before we stick it back in the oven, Jack, can you hand me the parsley? Parsley? Yep. take just a little bit of parsley and sprinkle it on top. The bacon needs to be stirred. So now we're going to put it in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. And then we will be right back. So now I put the rest of the bacon in the oven. It's cooking. Biscuits are done. A little overdone a little bit. But remind me of my late mother-in-law. Doesn't matter if she set a timer, she always burnt the biscuits. <laughs> so we're going to take a little taste of this. Tom is on his way home, so he'll be here in a few minutes. Mmm. That's awesome. Mmm. Thanks for the suggestion, um, Gerald. It was very, very good. We've got our green beans and our biscuits. So hopefully that reminds you of home. Um, I'll dish this up. Dinner will be served in just a couple minutes with Tom. And he'll do a taste test. But until then... Bye! See you guys in a few minutes. Well, hi, Tom. Hi. So you got to work all weekend, huh? Yep. Friday and Saturday will. Oh, well, Ten that. hours. Be nice on the paychecks. We're going to suck on you and me both. Mm. I'm not talking to you all the way on Friday and Saturday. You're not? Heck no. Mm. <laughs> the cat decided after I went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning to wake me up at 6.30 by climbing underneath the blankets and clawing my hair and my back. <laughs> that one that's eating right now. No, Bell wouldn't do that. Yeah, the superstar, yeah. So Bell's this is this is special requests week. Well not it's suggestions. And this is hamburger hash. Hamburger hash. Yes, yeah, so it's got all your favorite things. Hamburger and potatoes. Cheese. Cheese. Onions. Green beans. The green beans is something else. <laughs> You're not stopping eating that, huh? <laughs> Want to try the green beans? Green beans and fresh bacon. <laughs> and biscuits that I kind of overcooked just a tad. And... Why don't you try one with the... Yeah, there you go. It's got jelly inside. Homemade strawberry jam. What do you think? <laughs> so what do you think for day two of Suggestions Week? I think they need to make some more suggestions. <laughs> Well, this was a guy that suggested this. Yeah. How about that? All right. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.